Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful morning out here. Overcast skies today. It's probably going to be overcast for most of the day today. 74 degrees right now. Got an onshore breeze here. You can see it churning up the water there. Still have red tide here. Still feeling the effects of the red tide. Expecting a high of oh, up around 83, 84 today. Maybe some isolated showers. We had a little rain last night here. Pretty soon we'll be into our rainy season. Getting our regular afternoon showers. There's the boardwalk here that I just walked out. That's right in the middle of parking lot four. Head, head out to the beach and see what we can find this morning. It's high tide right now. Not the best time for shelling. Wouldn't be so bad if it was a little calmer. We could walk out in the water, but with these waves, it's excuse me, pretty much impossible to see anything out in the water. Sadly, we still got fish washing up on the beach. Dead fish, you can see one right there from the red tide. down the beach a little ways and see if anything interesting washed up. You never know. So another little seagull feather. Found one of these yesterday. Lots of catfish this time on the beach. Last red tide, it was mullet on the beach. This time, it's a lot of catfish. There's a the little baby catfish there. Sad to see all the fish on the beach. Oh boy, lots of little fish piled up on the beach.
Well, there's a lot more dead fish out on the beach this morning than we're here yesterday morning, sadly. Look at these beautiful fish. How sad. There's a little old fighting gong shell. Pretty wore out. Oh, over here's a nice little olive shell. Oh, there's a nice olive right here. Look at that, it's got a nice point on it. There's a nice olive shell. Beautiful olive shell. That is a nice looking shell right there. Not sure nothing's in there. Yeah, it's empty. That's a keeper for sure. That is a beautiful olive right there. There's a little conch shell. Florida fighting conch. That's a baby right there. It's amazing how they start out this light color and then as they get older they get much darker, almost red. They start out this pale yellow. the arc shell. Mossy arcs are pretty common. There's another one over here. More dead fish. Dead fish everywhere this morning. And little babies. These little guys little baby catfish. Hey Rob. What's up Roy? I was just I was just picking up some breakfast for us here on the beach. Hey wonderful. <laughs> Fried rotten fish. Yeah. Can't beat it. Sushi. <laughs> and have some sashimi. Is that sushi? <laughs> yep. I see you got your shirt on again today, huh? Oh, it's working out great. Is it working too. good? Oh, yeah. Terrific. Getting your free hugs? I yeah, love it. Yeah, there was three girls here just a few minutes ago. Three? Got some good hugs from them. Boy, lucky you. Yeah. <laughs> better, yeah. better take it easy there. Yeah, I'm really, really <laughs> blessed, I'll tell you. Everybody's so friendly and nice to me. Oh, hey, boy. what a morning, huh? All yeah. of a sudden, the sun came out. Yeah, finally breaking through the yeah. clouds. It's supposed to be oh. partly cloudy all day. Yeah. Maybe even a little chance of rain. Aye. And uh, red tide again, but yeah. it, isn't, it isn't getting in my eyes quite you don't a bit. Feel it? I can feel it in my well, in my yeah. breather here. Yeah. <laughs> I can feel it in my lungs. Yeah, and uh, some no see coming through the woods. Oh, you got no see this morning? Oh, yeah, a whole bunch of them. So, other than that, it's glorious. Oh, so, did you take a plunge yesterday? Oh, big plunges, yeah. Multiple big, plunges? Oh, there was big waves, I'll tell you. Yeah. yeah. Some waves out here again today? Yeah, a little bit, but boy, the wind was blowing yesterday. Wow, it yeah, was, it was really blowing. It's starting to pick up now. I can yeah. feel that little breeze. Yeah, it's glorious. But it is beautiful out this morning. Oh, it's wonderful. Get other one. than the fish and the red tide, all the dead fish. It's yeah, beautiful. Other than that. <laughs> <laughs> Just another day in paradise. Other than that, Mrs. Lincoln, how did you like the show? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I love that shirt. I'm glad to see you wearing it finally. 
Well, it's working out well. Yeah, it's a good, it's good advertising. You know, it pays to advertise. That's what I tell people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how's everything going for you? Good, good, good. Can't beat yeah, that. Yep, it's good. How are your projects? You getting them all? Yeah. Worked out. Yep, they're going good. I was okay. doing a working on a project, a fundraising video for a, an organization called the Ricky King Children's Fund here. Really? They, yeah, they raise money to buy equipment for you know kids in need you know wheelchairs oh, nice. you know, oh good good all kinds of you know medical devices oh, really? yeah. even even bands good morning good morning hey good morning how are you doing good today morning. i'm sad sad oh, oh the kids. fish i know and it's all caused by us yeah it's sad and we've got to change. this is the we've this has been around for a long time now yeah, this but ah. it's been here all season <coughs> yeah. it's terrible Nope. This do, is... do I qualify for my free? <laughs> He's advertising. Yeah, he, <laughs> <laughs> he can't put it any, make it any plainer. You're looking, you're looking great. Today. Oh, I feel wonderful. Roy, okay. looking beautiful. Oh, Where yeah. Did you get this? yeah. Isn't that something? That's brilliant. <laughs> Who did that for He's you? advertising now. <laughs> Roy, I'll see you in a little while. <laughs> Roy's always happy when the ladies come by. We'll check back with Roy a little later. I just want to walk down the beach, keep walking south here for a little ways, see what we find. If we find any interesting seashells amongst all the dirty old dead fish, poor things. Ooh, there's a great little conch. Another little conch. That is a nice shell right there. That is a great little conch shell. Gosh darn it, I always find pieces of these banded tulip shells and I never find the whole shell. These shells are absolutely gorgeous, the banded tulips. One of these days I'm going to find a really nice one. Ugh, more dead fish. Got any little scallops around here? Any little scallop shells? There's one little scallop. It's just so sad seeing all these fish on the beach. There's a little puffer fish. Here's a little piece of a shark eye shell, a moon shell. There's the top of it. You can see the eye. The shark eye, also called a moon shell. Maybe we'll find a nice moon shell on the beach this morning. Never know. There's actually a nice little line of shells here. The high tide mark. There's a little kitten's paw, a kitten paw shell. 
These are fun to collect. A lot of cat, a lot of cat lovers collect these little kitten paw shells. Kitten's paw. If you're curious about red tide, if you want to know what red tide is, I posted a link where you can quickly learn some facts about red tide, what causes red tide. Let's go to my page. You'll see it at the top there. But it is taking its toll on the fish once again. Other than the red tide, it's a pretty nice morning. Oh, here's, look at this puffer fish over here. It's so neat seeing these swimming around. We have a really nice reef just offshore. There's a puffer fish, poor thing. What's left of them. Apparently, the red tide doesn't, the birds don't get affected by eating the fish that consume, that got killed by the red tide. Somebody was asking if the ospreys, if it bothers them. I don't think so. As you can see the birds all, all around here feasting on the dead fish on the beach. Here's a Old conch shell here, all worn out. So sad. So, so sad. Well, the birds are having themselves a feast. Yeah, you bet. Yes. <laughs> she was telling me, I, I didn't realize it, but she was telling me that this red tide is because of all of the um, chemicals they're putting in the water are feeding the algae. She says there are big sugar mills up there. And, uh, yeah, I don't know about that. Going off from the sugar mills, she says, feeds the algae. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if that's a fact for sure, but... I mean, we've had red tide forever. <laughs> I mean, there's been red tide in Florida from, for as long as I can remember living here. I lived here for almost 60 years and we've had red tide. Oh, well, so, I don't know how long the sugar mill is, and apparently she said the fertilizer off, off all the um, farmland. That definitely doesn't help. That creates a whole nother set of problems too, but. Yeah. Yeah, it's terrible. They get that a lot up north of us, up on Sanibel, up in Fort Myers. Oh, the really? Effects. Yeah, when they, yep, that runoff. It's, he said something about the Cocohatchee River or something. Yeah, it's so not they, so bad here. They dam up the lake and then they let the dam open the dam or something. And 
Let the water out and it's flows the wrong way on the river. I don't know. I didn't quite yeah, follow all it's, of it. It's more serious to the north of us. We get some effects of that, but it's, it's not good no matter what. It's not good, that's for sure. And it's all the big, they call it big sugar. And there's a lot of people fighting it, but. Big sugar? Well, yeah. that must be from the sugar mill. Right, yeah, that's what they call it, big yeah. sugar. And, the, uh, that's, and people are fighting to run them out of the state of Florida, but. You know, our government's always wanting more money, so of course our government cares more about money than they do about the well, environment. I suppose the sugar mill has got to be somewhere if they're going to... Yeah. yeah. Too bad they can't, uh, can't they're, treat, they're gonna hurt treat their uh, effluent so it doesn't... Feel well, they, could, they can, but they're not forcing them to, so... Or they can do it, but they I'm, don't... I'm sure there's a way to, you know, to keep that stuff contained. Probably cost some money. Yeah. But they'd rather put that money in their pockets. Well, they should pass another law. Yeah. So you know you can't walk. You're not going to be able to walk on the beach anymore up here. You know, that's going to be against the law. They're passing a law that wherever their condos are, those people own the beach. Well, there's been a lot of talk about that. Yeah. I thought they decreed once before that they, they couldn't own it. Nope, they just, they're pass, trying to pass another bill right now. Oh, yeah. You can walk, if the sand's wet, you can walk wherever the sand is wet. Oh, is that how the bill reads? Well, that's basically what it's, how it's going to be interpreted. Well, that's okay. You can walk along where the sand's wet. Yeah, but it's BS that you can't walk on the beach. I mean. I think it's BS too. I thought it was up to high, high tide or. It used to be up to the, what do they call it, the mean water line or something yeah, some sea wall there. that's like the furthest high tide which here i've seen the tide the water up into the trees yeah, <laughs> in the parking lot yeah in the parking lot yeah. so how technical and specific do they want to get <laughs> yeah how high the tide yeah especially when they get the high winds and the high tide yeah it's all these condos along the beach yeah whatever uh, maybe the hurricane will blow them down and we won't have to worry about it. I wonder if it's legal to swim in the water in front of the condos. How well, far yeah. out do they own? <laughs> yeah. Once they start owning out into the water, there's going to be a serious problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, the city, apparently, I had a little discussion with an officer of the law because he was telling me I couldn't swim. And I said, these are federal waters. I, you know, your, your jurisdiction doesn't apply. And he very definitely informed me that the city has jurisdiction. I think it was either 20 miles or 200 miles or something else. I think like 20 miles. Oh, uh, I like thought that. it was three miles. Oh, maybe that was it. So yeah. they do own out. It isn't all federal waters. They have. Well, I don't think they own them, but they. I, what I mean yeah. is, their their yeah. rules, their laws right. apply. Yeah. Over the federal laws. All are. All our uh, sea captains know all those rules there. I'm surprised you're not brushed up on those rules there. I thought uh -huh. that was part, wasn't that on your test? Probably was, yeah. Uh, you must have skipped maybe through that, that part. Maybe that was the one question I failed. <laughs> you got mad and just said the heck with it. <laughs> Threw your pencil down. <laughs> I did pretty well on the test, actually. I really studied like mad for it. Nice. <laughs> Boy, these waves are loud here. Yeah, coming in good. Yep, they are pounding on the beach. Hopefully they'll wash all the fish back out into the water. Yeah, that's too bad about the dead it fish. Is, it is sad. I'm going to keep walking down a little ways, and then I'll come back and get your harmonica. We haven't heard that for yeah, a week or so. That. Yeah, I got that in my bag. Got to get the blow the dust out of it. Okay. <laughs> get a couple tunes on that. That'll be great. All righty. Okay, always great oh. seeing you. See, I just got a whiff of that red tide just yeah, now. I just good. felt it come in. <laughs> All right, well, I'll see you in a day. little bit. See yep. you later. He's got his, he's advertising for hugs again, everybody. I love it, Roy. I love the advertising. Oh, it seems to be working out well. It pays to advertise, I'm telling you. That's what I always tell people. Free yeah. hugs, ladies. <laughs> From the chick magnet. <laughs> well, it's a good time. It is. Be careful with these waves here. Yeah, life is glorious. Isn't it?
Boy, that is a big gull up here in front of us. Big seagull. Yeah, a lot of good ones today. Boy, they're all over. Yeah, they're not stinking up the beach yet, but they will. <laughs> Sadly, the rangers have to come, they'll pick up these fish and they dig a big hole and bury them. That is not a pleasant job. There you can see some fish floating out in the water. You can actually, that to me looks like red tide right here in the water here. The discoloration, it looks like it's made its way to shore here. You can see how the water is a reddish color instead of a green blue. Right in this area, at the south end of area four. Not good. Not, not good. They say it doesn't hurt you. I would not go swimming in the water with the red tide. If you do go swimming, make sure you rinse off when you come out of the water reason to take any chances. Well, not many shells down here now. There were more shells to the north behind me. So I think I'll turn around and make my way back up the beach. Water is definitely discolored here as I get a little further south. That looks like the red algae bloom out here in the water. Oh, disgusting. can really see the difference in the color of the water. Along here, it's got that reddish brown, and then just a little further north, you can see it clears up, and it's blue and green up there. That's how red tide is. It comes in like just big pockets. Sometimes they're pretty big. Hey, if you're new to our beach walks here, be sure to introduce yourself to the group. Let everybody know where you're watching from. There's a lot of friendships that have been formed here on Southwest Florida Television. Just through the online conversations in the comment section. It's amazing and what's really neat is a lot of folks will watch these feeds and they come out to the beach. They finally make the trip to Florida and come out on the beach and we get to meet them in person. That is really neat when that happens.
Yeah, a little whiff of that red tide there. Hmm. Not the wind is not good. It stirs it up. You can really feel it in your lungs when you breathe. There's a <coughs> excuse me, a nice little olive shell that I found earlier. That's a great olive shell. A really nice specimen. It's got a nice tip on it. Great looking olive shell right there. Even though there's red tide, it doesn't, <coughs> excuse me, it doesn't scare the people away from the beach. Good morning. True beach lovers come out here no matter what. Beach worshipers. Here's the underside of a moon shell. The bottom portion of a shark eye shell. Still hoping to maybe find one on the beach here this morning. A nice, maybe a nice whelk. You never know. Just gotta be patient and persistent. Here's a little jewel box. What's left of a little jewel box shell. A lot of times you'll find these and they have big spines on them. They look like old porcupines. They're really neat. But the spines are really, really fragile. So they usually break off before you find them on the beach. But every once in a while you get lucky. You find a nice spiny jewel box. a little slipper shell. They're nice and smooth on the, the outside, the slipper, and then you flip it over. See how it looks like a little shoe, a little slipper when you turn it over? The slipper shell. I'm up to yeah, this young man's counting all the dead fish on the beach. Good luck. There's so many of them. He's already up to 103. Well, yesterday, <clears throat> all we were seeing was catfish. Today, we're seeing a little bit of everything. A lot of puffer fish, fat fish. This red tide is probably the worst one I've seen in a long time. It's just hung around for a long, long time. Another little kitten's paw. These are such neat little shells. All you cat lovers, you probably like these, the little kitten paw shells.
Ooh, what is that? Is that a little trout or a... I don't know what kind of fish that is. I'm not a big fish guy. Big catfish up here on the beach. Big catfish. You can see how large that is by the size of my hand next to it. Our last red tide outbreak, there was a lot of big red drum on the beach. I haven't seen any of them, fortunately. All kinds of little shells right in here. It's just like a little carpet of broken shells. Look at this. Look at them all. This is where the shark's teeth get mixed in with these little shells. If you spend a little time sifting through here, you're definitely gonna find some shark's teeth. They might not be very big. There might be some really tiny ones in here. But they're out here, that's for sure. This is the stuff you really want to take some time and sift through it. Now yeah, let's move on here. I could spend all day going through this. People are just amazed at the fish on the beach. It's a sad way to see our marine life. This has been around for like a month now. I know, it's what every week it does. It's it wasn't like this. It's, it's different fish coming up all. I know, right. It's, it's terrible. It's, I guess it's, you know, different levels, you know. The, I don't know. But it's, this it is. It wasn't like this last year. No, this is the worst. I yeah, fish yeah, those are, up. I mean, that, it's so sad seeing them yeah. on the beach. So sad seeing all these beautiful fish washed up dead on the beach because of the red tide. If you're curious about red tide, I did post a link on my Facebook page where you can learn some facts about the red tide. So check that out. If you copy, you can copy and paste the link into the comments too. People are always wanting to know what red tide is when I'm walking along the beach here. So if you want to share that link with them, that would be awesome. Yeah. 
That's, <coughs> excuse me, the red tide making me cough. Just kind of looking in this little pile of seashells. Seeing what I can spot. There's just so many little shells. Another little jewel box. All kinds of beautiful shells here at the beach. All different colors, shapes, sizes. Look at this. Look at the colors on those guys. And of course, the sun, I'll get some sunlight on them there. Beautiful little shells. They're everywhere, these little shells. Everybody's looking for the big ones. I like finding the big shells too, but the little ones are nice. This is pretty. There's also some interesting rocks out here. You can find some really cool stones with fossilized shells in them. Sometimes you even find some fossil, fossilized fish skeletons in them. There's all kinds of neat rocks out here in the water. And there is beach glass out here too. People often ask, do you find beach glass? I don't collect beach glass, but yep, there is beach glass here. You can find some pretty nice pieces of it. See, we're getting more erosion here along the beach. Hurricane Irma dumped a lot of sand up onto the beach and now it's starting to just erode away slowly again. But this beach just comes and goes. It's always changing shape and sizes. There's a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. Beautiful natural beach. No homes or condos. They pretty much let Mother Nature just run her course here. Tide is slowly going out right now. Not as many fish up here, actually. Not seeing any fish right along this stretch of beach in Area 5. Now, earlier, now I see one up here. Earlier, I was showing you the water. And it was a very dark brown, reddish color. Here, it's not as bad, it's a little more green. Not as clear as it should be, that's for sure. Could be or could be. There's a big feather. Looks like a feather from a big seagull, maybe. That's a big feather there. A big seagull feather. Well, I found a beautiful osprey feather on the beach one morning. Huge. This is, looks like a seagull. the sand you just sink right down in the sand out here really soft and spin around here and give you a look down the beach down to the south
That's looking south towards the city of Naples. Let's see if we can zoom in a little. Those big condos there, that's the Park Shore area of North Naples, Park Shore. Those condos are about halfway between us and the Naples Pier. All the way down, all the way down to the right at the end there, that's where Doctor's Pass is. Way down, that's the next pass. We've got Wiggins Pass up here in North Naples. Then we have, oh, sorry, hard holding this steady. We got Wiggins Pass in North Naples, then the next pass is Clam Pass, then Doctors Pass, then Gordon Pass. So there's four passes in Collier County. And then down on Marco, uh, that what is that, Big Marco Pass, I think it's called? Um, I forget the name of that. I think it's Big Marco or San Marco. I forget the name of the pass on Marco. There's a really compressed look at the beach here at Del Norwegian. Sunday morning in North Naples. You can really see the crescent shape of the beach from this view here. out. Now let's keep walking up the beach, see what we find. The water looks a little better here, a little cleaner. More its natural green color here. The gulf is an emerald green color and then it'll turn blue. It'll pick the color of the sky up. You can see how, how it's blue out there. But it's naturally an emerald green color. Area 5 Beach at El Norwegans. This is the north end of the park. This is where you want to come if you want to do some fishing. And yes, there are people fishing. There'll be people fishing up at the north end of the beach here with the red tide. They say there's nothing to worry about. The red tide affects the organs of the fish. So as long as you clean your fish thoroughly, it's fine to eat them. We have had a lot of erosion here. Look at that. That's probably a good three feet of erosion along here. dead catfish on the beach. Puffer fish upside down there on its back.
you're just tuning in, Red Tide has raised its ugly head once again here at Del Norwegian's Pass State Park in Southwest Florida. If you check my posts here at Southwest Florida Tele Television, you'll find a link that tells you about Red Tide. We've been having, feeling the effects of red tide for probably the past month now, on and off. Not good. Not good to come out to the beach if you have respiratory problems or allergies. walk over to the one of our shell trees here people hang these hang shells on the trees here the a lot of folks will hang them as a decoration some hang a shell they make a wish other folks say a prayer when they hang a shell but the most most common reason that people hang these shells They'll hang a shell in memory of a loved one that's passed away. I've hung shells for some of our friends here. This shell here, I just hung yesterday. That's for our friend Tammy. She lost her dog, her best friend, Carl. That's her shell there. That's an old lightning whelk shell. That's Carl's shell. I had a request from somebody yesterday to hang a shell. I forgot the name, I'm sorry. There's so many people following me now on Facebook. I can't keep track of everybody's names, but I did get a request to hang another shell. I'm gonna do that. I just gotta find the right shell here on the beach. One of our great volunteers. Always looking for volunteers here at the beach to help out. There's a lot of work to do here at the park to keep it clean, to keep the picnic tables all together. If you like the outdoors and the beach, you should consider becoming a volunteer if you're close by here or volunteer at any of our Florida State Parks for that matter. Gotta keep my eye open for a nice shell. Here's another ship, one of our shell trees here. spying on me yeah. oh look look who's on there now <laughs> did it catch up to you yet yeah, not <laughs> yeah. there's like a little delay yeah. that's funny how are you guys doing today we're doing good how yeah you? taking pictures of the fish floating out there <laughs> no nah, we're getting the birds too. yeah every once in a while i get a good whiff of that red tide oh it's yeah. awful well, it's good meeting you. yeah i'll be back <laughs> just making the rounds that's funny somebody's Watching me live here on the beach. Ah, more dead fish. It's 
still beautiful out here though. I mean, look at the sky and the water. Temperature is going to get up to oh, around 83 today, 84, maybe 85. Slight chance for some intermittent showers. I'm not too worried about it. It's going to be brief if we do get some rain. We had a little last night down here. That water temperature is 75 degrees. These are all trees that Hurricane Irma knocked over back in September 2017. She just piled up these, these sea grapes that used to be growing along the beach here. Just ripped them out and piled them up on the beach. This is Wiggins Pass just ahead of me, the channel in between our two beaches. That's Barefoot Beach Preserve over there on the other side of Wiggins Pass. We've been having some connection problems when I get up to this end of the beach here. So bear with me if, we, if you lose the signal, I will be back. I just have to move down the beach to pick it up again. We lost it several times yesterday. I don't know why we lost the signal yesterday. It was a beautiful, clear day yesterday. A little windy, but that shouldn't have anything to do with the cellular connection. There's no Wi-Fi out here. Boy, it is really warming up nicely here. Going to be another nice warm day. Partly cloudy today. There's a little angel fish down here. So sad seeing all these beautiful fish washed up on the beach like this. Early in the morning, if you come up here, you stand a really, really good chance of seeing some dolphins playing out in the pass up here. A couple Mondays ago, Roy and I were probably up here for a good half hour watching the dolphins during one of the live feeds. That was fun. I think we saw five or six of them that morning. Boy, here's a big pile of shells down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Boy, lots of stuff buried in here. Another nice little jewel box. Little jewel box shell. Little kitten's paw. There's a little white one. Oh, just the end of the kitten's paw. Just the toes. Let's see if it'll focus. There it goes. Come on. Let's see what else? 
see what else is in this little pile. Ooh, quite a few mossy arcs. Those are very common shells. These mossy arc shells. seen any shark eye shells or moon shells haven't seen any big cockle shells this morning you just never know though what's what's going to be buried down underneath all this stuff well there's a big slipper shell looks like a slipper yeah that's a big slipper shell there Slipper. When you turn it over, see how it kind of looks like a slipper. Get some better light on it. Slipper shell. Looks like a little shoe. A little bedroom slipper. There's part of a cockle shell. This is about probably a medium-sized cockle shell there. Lots of cockles usually on the beach. Just didn't see a lot of them this morning. Some worm tips around here. There's. Well, that's not a worm tip. What is that? Is that an auger shell? I think that might be an auger. Little scallop shell. A couple little scallops. We got lots of scallop shells on the beach, all different colors. Sometimes you can find some really big scallop shells. Now there's part of a shark eye, a moon shell, I believe. Oh no, I saw that. It's just the top of a fighting conch shell. Pretty old and worn too. The fighting conch, the top of it anyways. Little cockle, no piece of a cockle. <laughs> Excuse me, the red tide making me cough. Let's <coughs> walk up to the end here. Hopefully, our connection will hold. There goes North Naples, North Collier Fire. Just making their rounds here. Making sure everybody's safe on the beach. Well, a lot of angelfish on the beach this morning, dead angelfish. Such a sad sight seeing them on the beach. All the dead fish. Big catfish. Doesn't stop the fishermen though. The red tide doesn't scare the fishermen away. They're still out here doing their thing. This is the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. The water looks pretty nice here. Nice color here. Not very pretty to the south. Bear with me, I'm gonna take a quick photograph. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're back here. There's a boat just heading out, heading out into the Gulf. It's 
fun to hang out up here, watch the boats, watch the fishermen, see what they're catching. Well, you can see some really nice boats coming in and out of this channel. Some really expensive boats. See anybody catching anything yet? We catch pompano up here, sheephead, jack, trout, ladyfish, sharks, catfish. No dolphins swimming around here either this morning. Absolutely gorgeous though. I'm gonna start walking back down the beach and down towards our friend Roy. Check in with him. Get him to play maybe a couple tunes on his harmonica for us. There's a nice boat coming in there. I'm not sure what these postings are for. It says keep out. I don't know what they're for. I don't know what it means. Keep out of what? There's another couple boats coming in. Three boats out here heading back in. Must be pretty rough out there. You know what? I'm going to zoom in and give you a look up Barefoot Beach over there before I head back down. That's a great beach over there. How are you doing today? Great. There's 6,200 feet of beach up there, Barefoot Beach. Some pretty nice boats making their way through the pass here. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, let's head back down and check in with Roy.
I think we're gonna, he's gonna play a couple tunes on his harmonica for us. That's always fun to listen to. This is here. Somebody, some kind of sand sculpture or something. I don't know what this is here. Definitely something you don't want to stumble across, stumble on at night and trip over out here fishing. That's not good, these big deep holes like this. Please, people, don't leave holes on the beach like this. There's no reason for that. I mean, that's just common sense should tell you not to leave a hole like that on the beach. That is huge. Whoever did that, shame on you. It's neat looking, but also very dangerous. And there's another one, probably the same person. Oh, this is the Rangers did this. This is where the rangers are going to be burying some fish. That is the pit where the rangers will be throwing some of the dead fish. What an ugly job that is, huh? Well, there's a look back at, at the pass. Our sea oats are all starting to come back over here, this grass. It was all buried by sand from Hurricane Irma in September. They're just starting to come back. All these sea oats. This is a nice beach to come up to up here in Area 5. You can't swim here. There's no swimming allowed at the north end of the park. You can sit here and watch the fishermen. This is the only place you can fish, by the way, in the park. You can watch the fishermen, watch the boats coming in and out. Great place to come and people watch. Everybody kind of makes their way up here when they're walking the beach. than a month before sea turtle nesting season begins. May is the start of that. The sea turtles make their way all the way up. They come up these dunes. They'll actually nest back in these in these sea oats. That's how far up the beach they'll come. They're pretty determined. The further up the beach they come, the better to avoid the super high tides we have here in the summer. There's a beautiful look. Now we lost our signal there for a minute. Sorry about that. Thank you, Sprint, for your wonderful service. So dependable. I'm going to try to get back up there. It's such a nice view from up on top of that dune area up here. See if the signal holds or if we lose it. <coughs> Excuse me. I want to get a picture from up here. Actually got some of our sea oats are starting to bloom here. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Excuse me, I'm going to take a photo. I'm going to lose the connection here for a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, I'm sorry. It took longer than I thought there, but aren't these sea oats beautiful when they're blooming? Remember, these sea oats are protected. You don't want to be trampling them, picking them. 
stay out of them. There's a big cockle shell down in the water. There's a nice cockle. to find a nice shell to hang on one of the trees there for our, one of our friends whose sister passed away. I'm not finding any shells with big holes in them here. Usually they're all over the place. As soon as I want one, I can never find one. Let's see. Anything down here? No. Nope. Need to get a add a shell to one of our trees here. Well, here's one with a big hole in it. If, what else I come across before I get to the next shell tree. Those of you just tuning in, we're experiencing the effects of red tide again here. 
There's lots of dead fish washing up on the beach. It's kind of sad. Well, this is the shell I'm going to hang for our friend's sister Gail. In memory of her, in memory of Gail. See if I can find a spot up here next to Carl's shell. <coughs> Excuse me. There's a good spot right here. Break that off. That's for Gale. That's Gale's shell up there, right up in there. I'm going to have to take a picture of that. Bear with me here. Uh, I'm sorry about that. Somebody texted me while I was taking a photo of our shells there. That's Gail's shell on the left and Carl's shell on the right. Heading down towards Roy. Volunteers is getting set up here to do a shell talk. We miss our friend Barbara. <laughs> oh, some nice, nice shells. Brave souls. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of just one of the great programs they have here at the beach. That's one of our volunteers here, our beach stewards. One of the many great programs that they offer here at the park. He's up there educating people about sea life and seashells. Just go to the website and you'll find all the little classes and events that are going on. Go to just Google Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Beautiful here. It's gorgeous today. I gotta get moving. I keep saying I'm going to head down to Roy, but I always get distracted as I'm walking down the beach. Can you blame me? There's always something neat going on here.
anybody just tuning in, we're at Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park up in North Naples, Florida. We're at the north end of the park in Area 5, at Area 5 Beach. Beautiful state park. A mile of beach here. No homes or condos. They pretty much leave this beach alone, letting Mother Nature run her course here. The beach is always changing shape and size. You can see how it's washing away here, eroding here. But sometimes we have big storms that dump sand on the beach. Sometimes it washes sand out. You just never know what's going to happen here. It's always changing. Right now we're experiencing some red, the effects of red tide. We got some fish that have been killed and washing up on the beach. A lot of catfish, angelfish, mullet, pompano, jack. The birds have been pecking away at them. The rangers do collect the dead fish and they'll bury them. They'll dig a big pit and bury the dead fish. Let Mother Nature reclaim them. We're just heading down the beach now. We walked up to Wiggins Pass earlier. Beautiful up at Wiggins Pass. A lot of fishermen up there. Haven't seen any dolphins lately. go over and say hi to Roy. Roy's 93 years old. He's a Navy veteran. He was in the World War II and the Korean War. So he's always got something interesting to share with us. And today he's going to probably break out his harmonica, play a couple tunes for us. There he is, up, sitting up there under the pine tree. See him in his chair there. Underneath the shade of the big pines, up by our osprey nest. You can see our osprey nest kind of in the shadows, right up in the top of that tree there. I don't see an osprey peeking its head out right now, but there is a pair of, a mating pair of ospreys. Oh, there I see some, a little tail wiggling around up there. Let's see if I can zoom in. Just on the right side of the nest, you can see a, some tail feathers every once in a while. See them moving around over on the right. Oh. <coughs> Excuse me. It's hard to get a good look at this nest. You have to get really far down the beach and then you need something to zoom into. You need a set of binoculars or something to see them in there. Let me back up a little bit. walk down the beach a little further and zoom in. You might be able to see them up there. If I stand a little further down the beach, it's hard with an iPhone, especially with this wind blowing around up. Here's another hole they're gonna bury some fish in. Let's spin around here. You can kind of see the Osprey's back now. You can just see her back on the right side of the nest. I'm guessing that's, I'm pretty sure that's the female up there. See if she moves around. There you can see her, that's her tail feathers you see moving around up there. Ah, come on, pop your head up for us. You can't even see the screen here, there's so much glare. Anyway, let's go say hey to Roy. Oh, and there comes one of the ospreys right there with the fish. Just flew right overhead with a fish. Wow. 
I don't know if it's going to be going back to the nest. He just flew by carrying a fish in his talons. Let's go check in with Roy. See what he's got to say this morning. Hey, good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you doing? Wonderful, thanks. Yeah. I'm reading a really interesting book. I mean, yeah. really interesting. Ali Al not Naimi? He grew up as a very poor boy out in the desert. Absolutely, you know, poor singer could be a desert boy. Uh -huh. And he, he grew up by, by study and, and, um, and never giving up and hanging in there and, and really studying hard. He was the president of the whole big oil company. Oh, wow. And ended up, I think, as an ambassador or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, quite a guy. Boy, worked hard and studied hard. Out of the desert. Yeah. Huh. Learned all, he learned all the languages of the beginning with all he could speak of study. He learned English and other languages. And, huh. and uh, it was just an amazing man. All through uh, uh, dynamic work and never giving up. Really? Know. Yeah, it was quite Fortitude. Cool. Yeah, fortitude. <laughs> Never yeah. giving up or giving in or giving out or letting up or letting down there you and go. letting go. Giving up, you hanging got it. Hanging in, hanging on, <laughs> hanging tough. There you go, hang tough. You got that right. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Well, where's that harmonica? Oh, it's in my bag. That thing, I got to get the cobwebs out of that thing. Yeah, yeah, there must be some in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's you been a while. Been haven't been around prompting me to play. <laughs> well, I thought you'd be serenading the ladies out here. Oh, that's a good idea. You got your you got your hugs, your free hug shirt on. Boy, I sure that sure worked out, I'll tell you. <laughs> right <laughs> while you were there, did you see how oh, it worked yeah, out? Oh yeah, I saw you getting your hugs. I love it. Well, what haven't we played? Oh, who cares? Let's hear you are my sunshine. I know there's Irish lullaby. <laughs> An Irish lullaby, that's always a classic. <laughs> our friends from the south. <laughs> so you know. <laughs> the caisson. <laughs> that was a good one. How about um, my old Kentucky home? Okay. Or for our Kentucky friends. That's not it, but. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, whatever. Anything comes out is whatever happened to the old Kentucky home. I don't know. Yeah. There you go.
was sweet. <laughs> now one more. One more? Yeah, you are my sunshine. You are my sunshine. There you go. Oh well. Got followed up that, on the last one. That's all right. I think we got it that there time. There you go. That's all right. <laughs> Better late than never. <laughs> oh, Lordy. Well, anyway, that was a good time. That was some good music there, Roy. Oh, it was a good time. We haven't heard that for a while, that harmonica. <laughs> so that was great getting that out of the bag. Yeah. I guess we got it coming around the mountain, didn't we? Yeah, we got that. And we about, got um, Irish Lullaby. Oh, I know what one. we didn't was good old summertime. That's a good, a good old summertime. Nice one, Roy. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of reeds are a little off color, but that's okay. Well, that's, that's what happens when you're playing an 80-year-old harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got a 93-year-old man playing an 80-year-old yeah, harmonica. I think it's probably a good 80 because I played it when I was a kid. That's something. Can you believe 80, 80 years? Good old honer. <laughs> I'll tell it. you what, that thing is... <laughs> if it could talk, I bet that harmonica could share some stories with us. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I found it in the drawer. It just happened to be there after all wow. those years. <laughs> it would crack here or something. But... So did somebody give that to you as a present? I or did you remember. save up your money and buy did it? A, probably did a birthday present way back when. I bet it that could have been my granddad. He, yeah, my granddad, he played the flute, he played the violin. Huh. He, was, he was musical. Maybe he, I think he probably gave it to me. Well, he was quite a guy. I bet that cost a few bucks back in the old days. I suppose. Well, Granddad had a few bucks. He worked hard and developed the company. Now, was that your, was it your granddad that invented the car and came up with the Hazy, or was that I your think great? That was a great grandparents great. had the Hazy car. Wow. The 1902 Hazy. Could you imagine if that came went came to fruition, where you might be right now? <laughs> hey, yeah, gosh sake, I'd be up there with Henry Ford. Wouldn't that be something? <laughs> man, oh, all those well, I'm a happy and... man just this way. Yep. Down on the beach. Yeah. yeah. I'd be in Dearborn, Michigan instead of down here on the beach. Yeah, that wouldn't be any fun. <laughs> no, the heck with it. <laughs> you might have never gone in the Navy. You never, you know, just did some... Just yeah, the old Navy happened. time, Merchant Marine. I've had a glorious, wonderful life. Still having it, as a matter of fact. Aren't we all? <laughs> Coming out here is just can't beat that. A blessing in itself, right here. Yeah, yeah. And during the red tide. So what? <laughs> I mean, yeah. So I'm coughing over here a little bit. And, yeah. But that's Mother Nature. Yeah, She's, it's, it's Mother Nature probably telling us to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. Well, <laughs> everything seems to be fighting for survival, and yep. we're, we're doing the same thing. Yeah, we are. <laughs> survival that's a, of the fittest. Yeah, got to stay fit, that's for sure. Boy, a lot of families out here on the beach. Did you notice that? Yeah, a lot of, yeah. A lot of kids were down here. Their families, you know, school yeah, was out Yeah, the up kids north. all plunging in the water. Yeah. Boy, yeah. Yesterday, there was a really high wind, high surf. 
All the kids were out there pushing around. <laughs> you got to hand it to the kids. <laughs> I saw their floats blowing away from them in that wind yesterday. Yeah. Blowing down and the beach. Little, little boys, they dash in and plunge yep. in and run around. <laughs> Boy, those little guys are tough. I, I remember you. those days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that when I was a little kid at the beach. Yeah, you'd I think their it. parents would be worried about them, but it, I guess that's par for the course. Yeah. Little, they seem to be able to take care of themselves. Boys will be boys. They don't change. Yeah. <laughs> Tough little guys. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose we were the same way when they were that age. I know I was. <laughs> My mother said I was a hellion. That's oh, really? She, yeah, that's what she called me. <laughs> a hellion. Hey, well, a good hellion. for you, man. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't know that about you. Hellion. Yeah. Oh, you got a new name now. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Old Rob Hellion. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Is that your last name? Yeah, it's my middle name. I see. <laughs> no. Oh. So, did you go out to dinner last night anywhere? What did we do for dinner? Did you go anywhere? No, I think we ate in, as a matter of fact. Yeah. Yeah, ate in. What did you have? Something good? Yeah, I put some swordfish on the grill. Ooh. Tasted good. Delicious. Yeah, Grilled swordfish. swordfish. That is awesome. That's good stuff, all right. Did you find it, a piece of swordfish washed up on the beach here? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> There's plenty of catfish out here if you like catfish today. He was washed up on the beach at Publix, I think. <laughs> all nice and frozen and in the cooler. There you go. <laughs> So you got a you got a word of the, word That's for where us today? That's my fish. Well, I haven't really thought about a word for the day. Yeah, but you're full of words. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a word that we well, can that everybody can ponder. The, the the word is 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 being being grateful and thankful and appreciative and That's always a of good the one. glory is a, a glory of life. That's always a good one. Yeah, every every night when I go to sleep and say my prayers and I give thankfulness. That's the big, big thing of my prayers is thankfulness. There you go. You know, you shouldn't be asking for stuff all the time. Although I do that, and I, you know, but you know, we're given so much. We sh we really shouldn't be that so much asking for more all the time. Although, <laughs> like I say, I I sure do it. But grateful thankfulness is the big thing we should give really. There you go. Because there's so much to be thankful for and appreciate and. If you start giving thankfulness, then you begin to realize how much there is to be thankful for. You know, if you start enumerating all the things, you, you get a, a greater feeling of how much you have to be thankful for. When you give right. thanks for the, for the air we breathe and the sky and the clouds and the, the wind blowing on us and our, our homes, our comfortable homes and our, and our society where we have protection from from uh, aggressors and from absolutely you know from bad people in our own society we're protected i mean we have so much to be th and our health good health oh absolutely that's the, probably the biggest health thing of all health is a huge one health is that's the biggest thing of all to have health and you should never and, take you know your good and, health and, and to live a, a life a pain free life mm. a lot of people they yep. pain all the time the poor things and, and you and I, I, I don't know about you, but for me, I don't have pain and no problems. And I mean, a little pain now and then, oh, but yeah. nothing, yeah, everybody's got that. And, and thankful for your head being good and not be all goofy in the <laughs> brains. You know, I mean, a yeah, mil they've absolutely. got a million things to be thankful. And once you start enumerating, you, start thinking about it, you, yeah. you get more and more things yeah. as you realize that you're so lucky to have. There's so many little things that you just take for granted. Well, the little things add up to big things. They sure a do. A billion little things make make a big thing. That's life. <laughs> that's that's the fact. <laughs> so thankfulness is the word of the day, the word forever. Be thankful. There you go. Always be thankful. Be thankful for what you have. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Well, it just seems like the good Lord is blessing us with these. These. I'm knowing we're being blessed. Yep. You got that blessed right. Blessed by the good Lord. As we sit at the beach, <laughs> you got that right. We are blessed. Yeah. All right, Roy. Well, you have a great Sunday. Good luck with that shirt. I hope it pays oh, off. Shirt's working out. Free great. hugs. Roy's giving free hugs only on the weekends. They're only free on the weekends, ladies. Oh, I so. think I could uh, probably manage to do it during the week too. Mm, I don't know. 
we got to start raising some money here. <laughs> <laughs> I think we got to start selling the hugs during the week. I don't know. The hugs are so great. Maybe I should start paying for them. And there you go. Don't put that idea in their head. <laughs> Let's not get that one going. <laughs> You'll be broke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you are kidding. <laughs> I did a lot of them. I'm a lucky guy, I'll tell you. You are. Pretty lucky guy. Yes, you are. We're all lucky. We're lucky to have you as a friend, Roy. Well, I'm lucky to have you as a friend and all the wonderful Facebook friends. All these people watching. Yeah. They love you. Well, here, I don't let's, know why, but I'm gonna I am going to flip this around it. here. Okay. Let's, let's see if we can get some hearts shooting across here for Roy. Oh, my gosh. Look let's at get the some love. Show Roy oh, some love. Oh, my gosh. Look at the hearts. <laughs> oh, isn't that wonderful? Oh. Oh, how lucky can you get? That's thanks. All, that's all the love. Thanks, everybody. Bless you all. Bless you all. <laughs> I'm really thankful to you. Talk about thank, but I'm thankful to all of you. Oh, look at the hearts. Bless you all. Thank you all. Thank you. Look at thank that. You, thank oh, you. Wow. <laughs> I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I wonder how many they, how many hearts it would take to cover up the screen. <laughs> I don't know, but that's a tremendous blessing. That's a lot of, a lot of love coming yeah, through there. Yeah. Gosh, see, I can feel gosh, it coming see. through. I'm so blessed. I'm so blessed. I'm so thankful. It just tied in what we talked about. I'm yeah. thank, thankful for all Isn't these the truth? wonderful people that are that are blessing me and, and being my friend. That's, that that's awesome. A tremendous blessing. Oh, yeah, they just keep coming. <laughs> oh, gosh sake. The little blue ones are likes. Those are big thumbs up. That means oh, they really? like what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that Rob, I can't believe it. <laughs> And some wows and some laughter coming across. <laughs> oh boy! Huh. Uh, I could oh. probably leave this here, and they'll just keep coming all day long <laughs> until oh, my battery life, goes life dead. Is, life is glorious. Oh lordy! <laughs> oh, thanks, Rod. oh, that is great, folks. Thank you so much. Roy gets a a big kick out of that. <laughs> Isn't everybody great? I'll tell you what. We've got a lot of good friends here that we've never met in person, but. They're here. Every time I'm out here on the beach, they're well, walking along with me. That's a tremendous blessing. It's a, quite a quite a miracle. The technology really. is just incredible. Yeah. Quite a quite miraculous. Speaking of technology, what time is it? What does your watch say there? My technology. Oops. Time? I gotta get rolling. I gotta go get somebody. I gotta take somebody to work. Uh oh. I gotta get moving. <laughs> yeah, don't be late. Take I won't. To work. All right, Roy. Have a great day. You too. Yep, tally ho. Bless you, tally ho. <laughs> Have a great day. Drive careful. Oh, I will. Thanks, Roy. That's one of the things to be thankful. Exactly. Safe drivers. Safe drivers. All right, I got to get trucking down the beach here. Be another quick look around as we head back to the boardwalk where we started. Water is not looking very pretty out here. We definitely got red tide along the shore here. You can see it in the water. You can see that brownish color in the water. A lot of dead fish along the beach. All in all, still a beautiful day here. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Take some time to check out all of my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something you like, and when you do, hit that share button. Hit the like button, hit the share button. The more people we can get on here following, the better. I always remind people to introduce themselves in the comments here. Let let everybody know where you're from, where you're watching from. We've got friends from all around the world watching now. It's amazing. And I'm back where I started this morning, here on the boardwalk in area four. This is right in the middle of parking lot four. 
I'm gonna give you one last look. Have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.